Hey, it's Wabbit. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by and uh, considering to watch this video. And let me warn you that this will be a bit of a lengthy video. And if you are someone that does music for a living full time, this is not a video for you. I don't think there's anything in here that will uh, be of service. Uh, so I want to give you an opportunity to, to do something else, go back, make music. Um, just don't want to waste your time. If hobbies aren't important to you, if, if that's not your thing, then yeah, find something else to do. I, 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 I'm just saying that because this is going to be a, a lengthy video. So if you have a beverage of choice or put your feet up, kick back, this is really a story. I'm a big, big fan of telling stories. I really try not to suggest what to do because for some reason people don't like being told what to do, but there's something in the power of a story. I'm also not here to knock any of the, the products that you see here because my story is it's on me for not being properly prepared and doing some things, but that is how life goes sometimes. Sometimes we have to learn some things the hard way, and I'm using that very lightly because this, considering everything else that's going on, this is very minor in terms of, you know, the hard life. But this has all been on me, and this has been something that I had to learn, and I, I want to share my story, put this out, so that others may, as they enter, as you enter the space, not only of music creation, but I think this applies to any hobby, so whether it's cameras, drones, any hobby you do, I, I think they're, it applies to all. Now, if you, again, if you, if you are getting into something professional, you're looking to get paid, put a roof over your head, keep food in the fridge, you're on a different track and that's okay. But if you're like myself and this is all hobby, I think at the end of the day, it really is about having fun. But there's some things that I had to learn along this journey to get to where I am today to really have fun with this. And that's what I want to share my story with you. Now, part of making this video long is giving you a little background because I think if I just jump right to what's in front of you, why I'm getting rid of it, what's wrong with it, or what's wrong with me, I should say, because again, there's nothing wrong with these things. Let me be careful. Let me be clear on that. I don't think it would do the story justice. I also know that someone may come across this video that has never heard of me before. So my story began back in the 70s, early 70s when I was born. That was my first exposure to music. I think we all can think back to when we were young. I grew up on things like jazz, classical, old school R&B, Jim Croce, Mannheim Steamroller, Herbie Hancock. Fast forward to clubs in Chicago, house and techno. Fast forward to another time where I bought a Roland DJ707M and taught myself how to be a bedroom DJ. I love that. Being able to live stream, minus the whole history, uh, issue of copyright, and that's a whole other conversation. That was amazing. That was fun. Because even as a consumer, I can remember being in the club in Chicago, at Kaboom. I, I'll never forget that place. And I remember looking up on stage and, wow, that person is, is doing that? That would be cool. But, you know, life happens, and I just kind of, Brushed it aside. Maybe went and got some seafood afterwards. <laughs> you know? But it was always in the back of my mind. And then something happened where you turn on YouTube and you see people doing stuff with these types of gear. Not necessarily these particular things here in front of you, but just in general and making music. And I thought, wow, that's awesome. I also thought, wow, that's that looks pretty simple. You see some flashing lights and buttons, and they're twisting knobs. And, I mean, one, the music is hitting me, but two, it's like, wait a minute. You can actually create that? You can do that? So, 
it began October 2021 where I really started to do my research. What do you need? That was the wrong question to ask. I didn't know that at the time. It probably wasn't until maybe April, May of 2022. I don't know the exact month. And I, and I wish I had known this back in October. And, and this is something that I want to share with you. And once I say this, you can actually end this video if you want and, and walk away from it. Because really, th that to me is the biggest part of the story. Someone said to me in a Discord group that I'm in, well, not directly to me, but they made this comment that I hadn't heard before. What is your objective? Again, when I got into this, it's like, what do I need? Without identifying an objective, how can you properly say what you need? It's easy to just get anything. Yeah, we you can get it, but are you here to create songs, make music, do this full time? Because if you are, it's going to be a struggle. Good luck with that. Again, whole nother conversation. Or are you here just to, and I'm going to use a term that I have used in some of these videos, HAMA. Having a mess around. Now, I had to look back in my history and realize, yeah, I don't know music theory. I dabble with a piano, I dabble with a guitar, and I failed. And that's okay. And, and it's not being negative. It's not being critical. I can say that. It's being For me, it's being realistic. I try. It's just not for me. Possibly, I just did not have the patience. Because when I look at a hobby, I want to have fun. I've got other things that I'm learning that relate to <laughs> real-world stuff. Getting by, surviving loss, dealing with work. Those are things that aren't always fun. This is what I want to do that is fun. This is therapy. What do I mean by this? Hobbies. And this is just my personal opinion. I get frustrated when things don't work out. And I can walk away from this because it's a hobby. This is not putting a roof over my head. This is not keeping the lights on. Because of that, I want it to be fun. So it took me some time, and I want to say within the past couple of weeks, actually, of recording this video, I have finally figured out my objective, and what it is is just messing around. I want to turn something on, push some buttons, turn some knobs, make some noise, and feel something, be moved, occasionally share it with others, and regardless of what it sounds like, regardless of how it's constructed, regardless of how long it is, who cares? I'm having fun. When you think about everything else that's going on in the world today, we need more people having fun, so I see nothing wrong with it. And please, let me be crystal clear. If anyone out there ever says, you can't just jam, you can't just have fun, they can politely fuck off. We need more of having fun, and I will stop my soapbox. So once I identified my objective, it was already a little too late. I had already accumulated some gear because I was watching YouTube. I was watching, or the algorithm was watching me and providing it with stuff, and I, I had to get these things because I thought that's all you needed. Or I heard the crowd saying, no, 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 you can't be using the iPad. Despite this community, despite this iOS community being very strong and vibrant and, and productive, I think there's an even bigger camp that's like, no, you need analog, you need sense, you need this, you need gear. That's not where it's at. And I was listening to that. I was doubting it. I, I started with GarageBand. <laughs> I mean, the, the drum sequencer in GarageBand, that's amazing. Then you go share that online, what are you doing? And, and that gets to you. But now I know better. Even at 50, I mean, that's the funny thing about life. Even at, at, at my age, you, you would think... I would not let what other people say bother me. We're human. <laughs> Stop the soapbox, Wabbit. Come on. 
So it was too late. I had these things. But now I identified my objective and I really began to take inventory of what I had. The reality is, is that these two particular devices were sitting on the shelf. Now, I did take the advice of counsel and put everything away and focus on the NPC Live. Try and do th small things in chunks. What frustrated with me, and again, great devices, no issues with them, but for me, this piano roll, editing, trying to manipulate, move things around, it just was not for me. Again, I was coming from the doll world, and it just was not a good experience for me. These things are amazing, these pads. I even tried to practice doing some finger drumming, watching tutorials online, knowing that it was going to take a good three to six months. But the reality is I didn't have that because as a hobby, I just want to have fun. And I did not want to put in the time to do that. Being honest with you, that was frustrating. So I'm looking at a device that I'm just not showing it love. But I know that this device in a home, on a desk, in someone's hands, that wants to put the time in, that has used something like this, that does know their objective and can use this, this will provide them and they will provide it the proper love. And it will great things will be made with this. The Machine MK3. Why I had frustration with this and something that I knew when I did my research, but again, I hadn't identified my objective. I was looking at something that was shiny and all the flashing buttons and it sounded great. But then I realized, well, wait a minute. Essentially what this thing is, is a controller that plugs into your computer to manipulate control software. This device does not do anything on its own. I can't turn this button on because there's no battery inside this thing. And even when I plug this USB up into the computer, or excuse me, even when I plug this up to power and turn it on, it's waiting for the computer to actually make this thing work. I cannot plug this into the iPad and make it work. And again, it was like, well, I have a controller. I can do, I can pull up machine on the computer and without this device, it works. This is a standalone device. This has a battery built in. It has the hard drive built in. People say this is portable. It's not. This is not something that I can comfortably put in a backpack and go do something with. This device is the iPad. But I know that the machine in a home, on a desk, under the hands of someone who has the patience, someone who wants to do this, this will provide hours of enjoyment and fun. That's why I'm not a fan of those videos that I return this because this sucked. No. These devices, they don't suck. None of them suck. Are they perfect? No. Do they have their pros and cons? Yes, absolutely. That's a given. But I'm being honest with you here. I've tried, but I didn't have the patience, and it's not going to work for me. And bottom line, I'm not having fun with it. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with these. I am not, this is not for you to take away that, oh, this is not a good device. Absolutely not. If that is your takeaway from the video, then you're not getting the message. Period. Because I've seen the comment sections, because people are entrenched in their camps of Akai or, or uh, Native Instruments or Apple or Android. They're so entrenched that they think there's something wrong with the device. Very rarely do we look in the mirror and say, hey, have I put the time in to learn this device properly? I haven't, and I don't want to. And that is okay, because it's a hobby, because it's not something that provides food and, and keeps clothes on my back and shelter. And that's okay. That's the beauty of all this. 
So that's why these things are going, because I am not going to put the time and investment into learning these anymore. It's not providing me the fun that I need in this space as a hobby. There are other devices, and this is one. Now, you may be a little confused. Oh, well, then why is this on the chopping block? <laughs> it's mainly because of the, sport, the storage space. Just did some videos talking about this device, how great it is, but also how bad it is. This thing has been maxed out a few times. And I will be upgrading to a device that has more storage. Despite the whole thing about... And, and trust me, there'll be somebody who will watch this. Yeah, that's what you get. That's why Apple sucks. We've heard that conversation. It's old. This is where my workflow is. This is my objective. This is my brains. This is my center. So any device that I get from now on must integrate with the iPad. Even though the TR6S doesn't, I still will keep it. The MC101 does. The Arterio Microfreak does. Even though, the, even though the Machine Jam doesn't integrate with this, I like the sequencer. I like the buttons. I like the knobs. I've got devices like this. The launch control. I love this. This thing can integrate with the iPad. It's awesome. It's amazing. I need to do a video on that. That's for another conversation. The This device here. Hang on. Love this thing. Launchpad Pro MK3. This integrates with the iPad. This is my jam. This is my style. This is my objective. This is my workflow. This is what I enjoy. This is what makes me happy. It's not to say that this is better than this or, or any other device. It's taken me time to figure it out. I'm the kind of person that likes these types of I know it's easy to say buttons, but I like this format. I just want to, I love presets. <laughs> Again, this is where I'm coming from. I'm not someone that wants to put in the time to learn music theory, and that's okay. And I, and I really think that is a big takeaway of my story. People are so caught up in you've got to learn, you've got to put the time. You don't have to do anything. Let me get back on the soapbox for a minute here. I apologize. But at my age, Tony Saragusa just checked out at the age of 55. He's four years older than me. Tomorrow is not granted. So today I want to have fun and as much fun as possible. That's me. It does not make what I'm doing wrong. By some other standards, it may say, hey, you're being lazy. You're not putting the time in. That's fine. That's your opinion. But when I turn this thing on, it also has some nice little colors and, and, and displays. But it actually works at the iPad. I can actually do kind of that live jam type thing. Yes, I can do it with the other devices here. Absolutely. So that is my story. I had to find my objective. It took me a while. I had to figure out my workflow. It took me a while. And then I had to take stock in what do I have, what's been sitting on the shelf, what do I need to keep. Trust me, the Akai went up on an online auction twice. I took it down because either one, someone said don't sell it, do this. Two, I saw another video and I thought, okay, I can try this. I did it, it didn't work. Now it's up on for a third time and it will go. And it will find a home that will provide the love and the experience that it can provide because this is a great device. I know that may be hard to <laughs> uh, grasp or understand, but it is. This machine is a great device. This is a great device. All these are great devices because there is someone out there who can use it and will use it to make it such a great device. So that's all I got. I don't know if any of this made any sense. But if there's something that I want you to take away from all the mess that you just heard if you made it through this video at this point, please, 
whatever hobby you're getting into. Find your objective. And please have fun with it. Because tomorrow is not granted. Have fun. Get out there. Create. Don't hesitate. Less slamming. More jamming. I'm Wabbit. Catch you next video. Take care. Be safe out there.